But tonight is really to celebrate six fantastic teens who through trials and tribulations, but in, in spite of all of that, they're able to come through and you're gonna hear tonight um, some fantastic stories on why they think they should be chosen as Boys and Girls Clubs of Annapolis and Anne Arundel County's Youth of the Year. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We're delighted that you're able to join us for the Ed Casey Annual Youth of the Year Awards Dinner. Dealing with the Boys and Girls Club have inspired me to be the man, well, the growing man that I am today. Uh, it motivates me to want to be successful. I am a part of this event because I am so proud of what the Boys and Girls Club does for our youth, young people in our community. I mean, they truly are our future, and if we don't build them and develop them now, we won't have them later. I mean, just looking at the robotics example, the girls are excited, they're learning, and this is all a part of what I enjoy. I mean, I feel proud to represent the Amos Boys and Girls Club because, like, I'm like one of the founding kids of their clubs, and like mostly the oldest. So it just feels good to show the younger ones that we can have a chance, even if we are a smaller club. I've served on the board of directors for almost 12 years now. So uh, when, when I first started with Comcast in 2000. Uh, and Comcast was new to the community. Uh, we recognized right away that uh, the Boys and Girls Clubs were an outstanding partner. The best benefit is helping me be more positive in my life and be a better person. It just shows me how I can lead my community by an example. And so as you pursue your dreams, you might come into some roadblocks and some obstacles and hurdles, but I pray that you guys continue to work hard to reach your dreams. I commend you for all that you do. You not only make our community a better place, but you make our country a better place. Thank you so much. Get more done with less, and, and, and uh, math speaks for itself. You go in and do look at statistics, and, and uh, wherever there's a boys and girls club, there's a greater chance that people go to school, graduation rates higher, less uh, gangs. I mean, all the way down the line. I've been a part of the club since seventh grade, and um, I'm now a uh, employee at the Naples Garden Boys and Girls Club. This year we were able to put together a leadership academy. It was a 12-week course where the students were able to come to our corporate office each week and participate in classes like diversity and inclusion, ethics, teamwork, etc. I think the the family kind of atmosphere is a great benefit. It feels like, you know, I'm not even away from home. It's a wonderful honor and I'm grateful to be have picked for this. What we do is uh, deliver fun, hands-on STEM activities. STEM, of course, stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Math. Our objective is to inspire and then support students to consider entering the STEM education pipeline in our country. So we work with the kids as early as kindergarten all the way to 12th grade. The thing I enjoy most in the club is that being with the children, I actually educate them so they won't do any mistakes or run into any trouble that they're not supposed to run into. We work with the kids on uh, trying to teach them the basics of financial management, whether it's real tools like managing the paycheck and your bank book or that kind of thing, but really what we talk about is wants versus needs and trying to separate in the world that bombards you with things trying to convert your your wants into your needs all the time and trying to make the kids think about it and it's about as simple as that. And the winner is Terrence Brownlee. I'm more than thrilled to win this award. I'd just like to thank everybody, whoever was involved, and I, I even thank the creators of the Boys and Girls Club. And I love to give thanks to my family and my mother. And this, this is just the beginning. <laughs>